Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you step by step how to make an animated diagram for LinkedIn using Canva. It's easy, fun and you don't need to be a designer for it. These kinds of diagrams are great for sharing ideas, showcasing the processes and explaining your work. And the best of all, they really stand out on LinkedIn. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any important steps here. Every part is simple and I will walk you through everything. If you want to create a Gumroad account, you can use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might even get some rewards or discounts when you sign up using my link. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, you need to open your web browser and here in the search bar, you need to just search for linkedin.com. Now, once you are at LinkedIn, the first thing that you need to do is to simply log in into your account. If you don't have an account here, I would highly recommend you to create your account first. It will require your email address, your phone number and a strong password. Now, once you are into your account, in order to create animated diagram, we will have to create our account at canva.com as well. So you need to open a new tab in your web browser and you need to search for canva.com. Once you are over here, you need to just log in into your account. And once this step is done, the interface or the dashboard of Canva should look something like this. Over here, you can either click on this create button in the top right hand corner of the screen and you will see this type of pop up in front of you. Here in the left hand section, you will see a bunch of different designs that you can create very easily. So among the given designs, you can select presentations and here in the left hand section, you will see a bunch of different presentation templates. So you can select any of the templates that you like. These are ready made templates. But if you want to start from the beginning, you can even select a blank page. Over here, you will see a bunch of different resolutions for the presentations like 16 is to 9, which is the default. Next, we have the presentation mobile. You can even select any of the blank pages and you can even resize it later. If you don't want to do it from here, you can even use this new section of presentation where you can type the type of design that you like. Uh, you can even type presentation here and you will see this type of uh, section where you can select uh, PowerPoint presentations and you will find a bunch of different templates that are in English. Now, uh, let's say I want to customize and design this particular template over here. So you need to select that particular template which you want to design. Click on the customize this template option. Now it will open in a new tab and it will look something like this. The first thing that you can do over here is to change the name of this particular project. So you can give it any name of your choice. For example, I give this one. Now you will see all of the slides here in this template. Uh, you can change everything from text to colors to images to layouts. So first of all, let's start by adding some shapes to build our diagram. So on this blank page, in order to add any shape, you will have to first of all hover over to the left hand section and click on elements over here. If you scroll down a bit, you will see a shapes tab. So once you click on that shapes tab, you can find any of the shapes of your choice. You can even use the search bar in the top and you need to just search for the type of shape that you want. For example, if you want triangle, you can search for triangle and you will see the triangle shapes. So you need to click on that particular shape which you want to add in your presentation just like this. After adding the shape, you can edit it as well. You can change its color from the given color palettes. You can adjust its size just like so. You can just adjust it on your page just like so. To follow the connection between these templates, uh, you can add arrows and lines between the shapes. You can then copy and paste the shapes or uh, make your things faster and you can even group them. Uh, for example, if you have two shapes, let's say I have these two shapes and if I want to group them, you can click on this group option and these are grouped and you can just arrange them just like so. Now this keeps everything in place when you move it around or add animations. Now is the time to add text to your presentation template. For that, you need to hover over to the left hand section again and this time click on the text option. Over here, select the option of add a heading. Now you need to type any of the name to your heading. 
so for example let's say i want to add this word here you need to select your text and from there you can change the font of your text let's say i want to give this font to my text afterwards you can increase or decrease the size of your text you can just change the color of your text from here if you want to add underline you can do that here if you want to make it upper case or lower case you can also do this by clicking on this option here next we have the option of the alignment so you can change the alignment of your text you can add effects into it you can just make it opaque or you can just uh, change the transparency of it so basically you can customize your text as per the template that you are making so you need to first of all place the text inside the next to the shape and the box and make sure that the text is clear and easy to read you can even change the font and the size and the color too as i said earlier in this video now is the time to animate your diagram so this is our diagram that we have created in order to animate it you will have to first of all select it then click on the animate option in the top right hand corner of the screen once you click on it you will find bunch of different elements in the uh, left hand section like rise pan pop fade etc so you can select any of these for example if i want to select drift you need to select the animation that you want to put on the shape then it will show you this type of slider so this is the intensity slider you can use this slider in order to increase or decrease the speed of your animation afterwards we have the direction and as the name suggests you can change the direction of your animation if you want to add extra layer of animation you can even select these options you can even select the add on effects and these will enhance the type of animation that you are using so you need to choose simple animations that match the style of your diagram you can also add animations to your text in order to add animation to the text you need to first of all select text and click on the animate option from the given animations simply select the animations that you want to give to your text and it should look something like this now in order to preview your work you need to just see how it is actually working the preview will be in the left hand section of your templates now if you want to make your diagram more fun and clear you can even add icons and graphics to it for that simply go to elements and you can search for anything like if i want to add a plus icon uh, you can just click on the graphics option and select any of the icon that you want to add in your template so this is how you can keep it very simple now once your presentation is done completely uh, you need to just click on the share button in the top right hand corner of the screen then click on the download option over here you can select what pages you want to download you can either select all or you can select one or two pages for example if i download this one um, you need to just click on it and you need to download it now by default the format will be pdf but we want to make it gif so you need to click on this drop down menu and from the given options you need to select a gif and now you need to select your page click on done and click on the download option now wait for a second then go back to your linkedin account now once your gif is downloaded successfully you need to launch your linkedin account and come to your profile on your profile you need to scroll down a bit and select the option of create a post here you will see add a video option so simply click on this one after that select that particular gif file that we have made using canva next you need to press next on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and post it on your linkedin profile so this is how you can make animated diagram for linkedin in canva if this video helped you out please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more simple and useful tutorials Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.